eczema with medical medium information and protocols. I had eczema two years ago. Uh, it used to come at the back of my legs on and off for maybe a couple of years. And then eventually my parents asked me to solve it, to get rid of it. And the way to go about that they recommended was through putting moisturizer on the affected area because the idea was that it came from dry skin. And little did I know that that wasn't the case at all. So I started putting moisturizer to try and heal it, to try and get rid of the eczema that I had on the back of my legs. I continued to put it on over and over and over again. Eventually, my legs would even drip out this sort of pus or like this kind of goo because they were reacting to what I was putting on it. But I kept putting it on, I kept putting on it, uh, moisturizer, because that's what I thought the problem was, that my skin was too dry but maybe I was putting things that were irritating it and making it worse. Eventually, the eczema would grow to other parts of my body. It would grow to my arms, to the be my feet, to my forehead, to even my eyes. It got so bad that my scalp would be getting dry, that it would be getting irritated. And eventually, it, I started to have full body irritation and I started getting hot, full of irritation. It got so bad to a point where I was basically crying outside, fully irritated, but extremely cold because I thought the cold could help. And that was one of the lowest lows and a hell moment, a moment that I would never want to experience ever, ever again. So I went to my doctor to see if I could do anything to help me out. Initially, he thought that irritation was the problem that it was what I was putting on my skin. So I started putting different non-irritating moisturizers on my skin. So that's when it started getting worse into other areas. So I eventually put moisturizers that were less irritating, less irritating on my skin, but they did nothing. They just continued the irritation and things continued to get worse. And then for my scalp, the problem with my dry scalp, I used this dry scalp problem uh, solution that didn't do anything, it sort of nulled the problem, but it didn't really improve it. And I just continued to get a dry scalp. A lot of the medication I was given was just a Band-Aid, and it will continue after what my doctor gave me to my, what my dermatologist gave me. So my doctor then, after all of this, gave me a corticosteroid pill to take. I took it for a while, but you're only supposed to be on it for so long because it's so detrimental to your system. Because it's a strong thing and just, it goes through your whole system. I felt even more irritated at some times. It was a lot more energetic at some times because I was putting a steroid in my body. And I was also gaining weight around my face and around my body. It was very slightly on my body, but a lot more on my face. So eventually my doctor recommended me to a dermatologist. And that dermatologist gave me a cream. I didn't know it then, but there was also a corticosteroid localized cream. I didn't know it at that point. I just thought that it would be something that he told me would help me. All these people, these doctors were trying to help me. They tried their best. They were applying the knowledge that they knew and the way they knew about going, treating these kinds of things. But it didn't work and it wasn't working. I kept using the cream on and off because I didn't want to be on it uh, for a while because it didn't affect my health in the, the best way. But it did work. It wasn't like magic and then it went away. But I had to keep applying the cream. As soon as I didn't, it came back. I had to be consistent every single day applying the cream. But I wasn't so. I wasn't that consistent. And the idea was that I was supposed to be applying this cream for a certain amount of time. And for some reason, I would then no longer need it. But that wasn't the case. I would have kept taking it until I realized that it was a corticosteroid cream. It just came to me at some point. I was looking at, actually, I was looking at my face <laughs> on pictures and seeing how my face has gotten a lot fatter, particularly my face. Maybe I'm taking a corticosteroid. And then I researched about the cream I was taking and it turns out it was a corticosteroid. I didn't want to be taking that. And it, it sucked that I was taking that. And at that point, I said enough. I said, no more. I'm going to go another way. And the other way was through medical medium. Now I'd found the medical medium from uh, 
a coach's girlfriend that shared a post and then I followed them way before this moment when I needed it. And then I went full force into using it. I bought the books. I read all the ideas and the information that he provided in those books. I watched a lot of people who had my symptoms, my eczema, and then healed them through medical medium. And I went full into healing with medical media as much as I could. I went into healing with medical medium information and taking this information seriously, even though it was really inflammatory to me. <laughs> it was really hard for me to grapple with how he pushed against all of the scientific consensus on things. But I was desperate and I tried it. And I thought, okay, there's no harm in me drinking celery juice. There's very little cost to me in, in trying this and there's huge rewards. And there's a different paradigm of looking at health that is better in the long run. So I went into it. I changed my diet massively. I basically went from meeting, constantly eating a lot of fat and a lot of meat to eating and eating no vegetables almost to eating a lot of vegetables and no fat and no meat consistently for a while because I had a driver for this and I went fully into it because I'd been so desperate from the pain that I experienced that I'm not going to have that. And I'm in so desperate to not have that worldview that I was given with what my doctors were saying is that I'm supposed to be having taking this medication consistently. And in about a week after admittedly having some problems with like, you know, your bowels with, and everyone will do if they're doing a cleanse, when you're really cleansing at the start, it really like messes with your system at the start, messes with your digestive system. You have a lot of diarrhea at the start, but because I was desperate, I stick, I stuck with it. And I looked at the information and it said that it was a problem that could happen, but eventually you get over the period and I haven't had the same problem ever since because my system has been cleansed and now I no longer have that issue anymore with taking celery. Maybe a little bit when I don't use the celery juice consistently when I go on and off. But when I went on that celery juice after about three weeks, I think go doing it um, one liter a day, I was finally medication free. I was fine to be without my medication for the first time in a long time. And from there, it kept building. I kept getting good results with sticking with the diet and with using celery juice. And that did well. I got to a certain point where I didn't need the medication. I still had some of the symptoms. I still had some dryness and eczema on my body. It was very minimal and it had gone down. I no longer was on my face. It was no longer my forehead or my eyes. It was no longer on my wrists, it was no longer on some of my forearms. I kept doing this and kept going this way because I wanted to stick medication free and I kept with the diet. And then I started going interstate. I started going to visit family, I started going to visit my girlfriend in Melbourne. And then I noticed, hey, I'm sticking to the same diet, everything's mainly the same, but I'm get my symptoms are going down and my skin is smoothing out, it's becoming normal. Why is that? And eventually I figured it out. I had an epiphany one day. I remembered that, oh, the water in my parents' place when I filled the bathtub was blue. It had copper in it. I remember a medical medium saying something about copper, that, med that at least that heavy metals weren't good for you and copper was probably one of them. Then I looked into it. Turns out he said, yes, that copper is not good for your skin. It's a bad thing for your skin and your body wants to get rid of copper anyway because it's not good for you. And your skin is the way that it gets rid of these toxins, these bad things. That's why you have eczema in the first place. That was at least what I said. And then I, I realized that's the problem is because I've got copper piping in my house. And even when I turn the water in the bath in my house, it gets it is slightly tinged blue because it has copper in it. So then I started drinking water, which wasn't, from my tap, which was from bottled water or was from these boxes, which are kind of like cast wine, but filled with water. And then that changed. I no longer needed to be on the strict diet. I no longer needed to celery cleanse constantly. And my symptoms went lower because I wasn't ingesting that toxin in the first place. I didn't need to cleanse anything because I wasn't ingesting 
that same toxin. So it's always what's in and what you do about what's already in. So there's both ways you can help. The, the first and the most important thing is getting rid of all the th- problems that you're taking in, especially if it's large quantities, like when your copper piping is rusted or it's getting problems. So anyone else with eczema, check what kind of piping you have, check how much copper you're getting into your system. That is the biggest change and is the thing that got me massively healed. And now look, I'm basically 100% healed. I put a filter on my shower and I was consistently told that my shower was a problem. Take less showers, it dries out your skin. I can take as many showers really as I want. I mean, there's still copying through because the filter can only do so much. But the shower is not the problem. It's the copper getting in my system that's a problem. That's why changing that drinking water was a huge benefit. Now my shoulders are fine. Now my arms are fine. Now my wrists are fine. Now my feet are fine. It's only the back of my legs that are slightly dry and itchy. But they're not even as bad as it was before I started any of this. Before I even started the moisturizer. It's still better than that. So if I change the house I live in or I change the piping, which is an expensive ordeal, it will then change the scenario. When I go to my girlfriend's house, my legs feel much better and I think I'm pretty much completely smooth, nice and smooth skin. (laughs) Uh, And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for medical medium and I think that if you've got any health issues, if you just want to maximize your health, please look into the information. It doesn't have to be as strict as he says, or as strict, uh, just go as strict as you want to. But I thank God for Medical Medium. I'm so grateful for Medical Medium and his information. This is just a huge testimony to that, and hopefully I can help anyone who is suffering with any kind of chronic illness, be that whatever. Look into Medical Medium, I'm sure he will help you massively. I hope that I helped you with this information. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope that this can change your destiny with your health and the health of your family, health of your friends. So thank you very much for this video. Thank you very much, Medical Medium. I'm out.